Hey, Knicks fans, who is excited for opening night? We are just five days away from the Knicks season opener against the Boston Celtics at Madison Square Garden next Wednesday night. If you are as fired up as I am, hit that thumbs up icon, like this video, help us out trying to get 200 plus likes on today's show. If you love the Knicks, if you're fired up, excited, pumped, amped for opening night, then like the video. And let's be honest, the Jets and the, and the Giants stink, so you might as well get hyped for basketball season. Hit that thumbs up icon. And with that being said, we got some news to get into, so stay tuned. You're watching New York Knicks now. I'm your host, Harrison Graham, for today's show. And we've got some breaking news. The New York Knicks signed Luka Samanic in NBA free agency. Not Luka Doncic, unfortunately, but a former first-round pick, nonetheless, who got drafted by San Antonio, number 19 overall in 2019. Played the last couple of seasons with them, uh, and now he is a New York Nick. This is a two-way contract, so he takes up the second two-way spot for this New York Knicks roster. Played in 36 games the past couple of years, so not a lot of NBA experience under his belt, but certainly a talented player and a worthy player of bringing in on a two-way contract. Be honest, and if you're pissed off, that's okay too. Did you guys think I meant Luka Doncic and not Luka Simonic? Type Y for yes, type N for no. I apologize, guys. Get your votes in Y for yes, N for no. I just try to have a little fun here on a Friday. The Knicks are going to be a good basketball, this team. It's okay. Uh, obviously, Luka at Madison Square Garden would be absolutely electric, but I did want to get you guys this news. And yes, it is breaking news. So, you know, you can't be that mad at me, even though it's a smaller impact player. Sham Sharani, of course, broke the news of the, of Stadium and the Athletics, saying that uh, former first-round pick Luka Simonic and the Knicks have agreed on a two-way contract. Luka seems fired up with two Apple emojis as he's heading to the Big Apple up there in New York City. So he's excited. We'll see what this guy can bring to the table. 6'10", 227. Hasn't done a ton in his NBA career. Just averaged about four points and two rebounds a year ago. But he's got some upside as a stretch big, but he's never – excuse me, been able to put it all together through a couple of years. 43% from the field in his career with San Antonio, just about four points and two rebounds per game. So Luka is signing with the Knicks, just not the Luka that you guys probably would like to have. Help us out. Let's get New York Knicks now to 2,600 subs or 81 away. Hit that big red button. Hey, this news isn't even huge, but it is breaking and we're bringing it to you guys. So help us out. Support the channel, youtube.com slash TV. Go ahead and hit that big red subscribe button for more videos. Another contract, Brandon Goodwin heading to the Big Apple on an Exhibit 10 deal. Played with the Hawks last season, played over 40 games with Atlanta. Not expected to make the Knicks final roster. You see this a lot toward the end of training camps and into the pr end of the preseason as well as uh, fringe guys sign Exhibit 10 deals. And basically what that means is it's a G League signing. They're going to waive him from his contract, and then he'll go play with the Westchester Knicks. That's what this means. And then uh, he's a guy who's got ex NBA experience, so if he plays well, the Knicks have some injuries or something like that, he is ready to go, and he can get called up to the active roster for the New York Knicks. In his career, uh, Brandon Goodwin uh, averages about five points, two rebounds a game, only 38% from the floor, so, you know, not super efficient. But he's played a little bit in the National Basketball Association, and now he's heading to uh, the New York Knicks on an Exhibit 10 deal again. That means he will uh, almost certainly be playing with the Westchester Knicks at least early on this season. So uh, we'll see what happens with Goodwin. Uh, so manage again on that two-way deal. Goodwin on a Exhibit 10 contract uh, as he uh, hopefully looks to uh, earn a spot on the Knicks' real roster at some point in the future. If the answer is no, well, that's okay. Have you ever heard of Brandon Goodwin? I'll admit I had to do a little bit of research. Type 1 for yes, type 2 for no. Get your votes in down in the comments. Have you ever heard of Brandon Goodwin? All right, we'll spend a little more time on this. Kyrie Irving, should the Knicks trade for him? Well, the Brooklyn Nets have announced that he will not play for Brooklyn until he's, quote, a full participant because 
He is unvaccinated, and as of now, he cannot play home games for Brooklyn due to New York City uh, mandates and guidelines. He cannot play uh, indoors uh, for the Brooklyn Nets, and the Nets said, you know what, we're not going to have him be a part-time player. We're not going to only have him available on the road, uh, and Irving seems committed to not being vaccinated at this point in time. Uh, here's the problem if you're a Knicks fan. He couldn't play at MSG either because... New York City, same deal with Brooklyn, right? So he could not play at Madison Square Garden either. So if you traded for Kyrie Irving, you'd be in the same dilemma. Now, you could say, okay, we're willing for Kyrie to be a part-time player, only play on the road, but you really want to do that. I mean, that seems like a, uh, a bit of a reach in my opinion. But some people have been uh, asking, hey, what about Kyrie in New York instead of Brooklyn? Okay, uh, here, here we are talking about it for you guys. We'll ask you then, should the Knicks trade for Kyrie Irving? Type T for trade, type P for pass down in the comment section. <sighs> Get your votes in, but I, I just don't think this guy's worth the headache. And regardless of your vaccination uh, opinions and status, this goes beyond that for me. He's been a headache for years. He would miss games last year due to personal reasons. He was injured. He's been injured a lot. Uh, you know, he's just not proven to be reliable. And this is just the latest thing, kind of the cherry on top, in my opinion, is think about this. Kyrie Irving convinces Kevin Durant to sign with Brooklyn, kind of helps sway a James Harden trade so they can chase the championship. And now he's just like, uh, you know, I'm unavailable. So it's just it's just not a great deal. It's, it's disappointing, too, because he's a hell of a player. 27 points and six assists last year, over 40% from three. He's one of the premier guards in the NBA, but the reality is you can't count on him. And that's been the case for years now. That's really been the case since the Cavs had their runs a couple of, you know, several years ago. He flamed out in Boston. He's had injuries. He's been unreliable. He's disappeared at times. And uh, the reality is, is that if I'm the New York Knicks, I don't want anything to do with Kyrie Irving. I will keep it rolling with the young guys I have and the veteran guys I have. And uh, we'll get ready for this season. Uh, and uh, good luck to Brooklyn for trying to figure out and navigate that entire situation. Speaking of which, five days away from the season opener. Who you got on opening night at MSG? Type BOS for the Boston Celtics. Type NYK for the New York Knicks. Go ahead and cast your votes down in the comment section. BOS for Celtics or NYK for Knicks should be a fun matchup in the Eastern Conference. All right, guys, we'll have videos throughout the NBA season, and it all begins in just a handful of days. YouTube.com slash Knicks TV. Do not miss any of our coverage from myself, Chase Sr., the rest of the chat sports staff. We'll have you guys covered with the latest Knicks news and rumors, so subscribe, and we'll see you next time here on the channel.